Hey, can y'all hear me? Hey, y'all. Hey, Strawberry Fine. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to get in the room. I'm going to address everything once and for all. If y'all can hear me, put thumbs up. Can y'all hear me? Okay, good. So, I'm going to answer everybody's questions. I wasn't going to speak on this shit, period. I wasn't even going to speak on this shit, period. But this nigga keep on disrespecting me. So, I got to address it. I didn't want to speak on none of this shit. I didn't want to speak on none of it. I really, really didn't. I really didn't want to talk about this shit. So one of the main things I want to say, number one, everybody reaching out to me, everybody that donated to help me, everybody that's concerned about me, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all. But here's the thing. I am not a damsel in distress, okay? I'm strong. That's why y'all fuck with me. Y'all fuck with me because y'all know I'm strong. Y'all fuck with me because y'all know I'm strong. That's the main reason y'all fuck with me. So if y'all are coming in like, oh, I feel so sorry for you, girl. There ain't no reason to feel sorry for me. You don't got to feel sorry for me. Okay, look. So now I want y'all to ask questions. What questions do y'all have? What are the questions? Let me see. So somebody said, Umi, you went here for clout. Admit it. Here's the thing, and this is a fact. This is a fact. I never, ever once wanted to be on camera. I was there for a whole fucking week. Duck in the camera. I never wanted to be on camera. That first time when he introduced me as his quote unquote wife, he didn't even have a conversation with me. He literally was just like, tell Umi to come here and put me on camera and put me in an awkward ass position telling me, I'm telling me that I'm his fucking wife. And, and, and get this, y'all saw, y'all saw how awkward that fucking kiss was. Y'all saw how awkward that kiss was. This is because this nigga just called me out on this shit randomly. Like, we hadn't even been talking. I had been avoiding him and his own shit. Hold on. Let me look at these questions. <laughs> okay, hold on. Why did you go in the first place? So, that's a good fucking question. So, y'all know I'm an Aries. And I'm impulsive as fuck. So, it's not just one reason. People keep on saying, oh, you went because you wanted to fuck him. Like, nah. Nah. That wasn't the reason. Was I attracted to him? Yes, I was attracted to him. But the reason why I went there is because I was looking for something more in my life. It's just like all the people that's over there. And it's really sad. People that are looking for answers in their life. You know, and I just, and it seemed like, and this is what's so crazy. And I want to tell this to anybody who's thinking about going over there. What you see on live and on video is nothing like what that shit is really like. It's nothing like what that shit is really like. They stay cooped up in the house all fucking day. They rarely, rarely go out and even do anything in nature. Period. They stay cooped up in the house all fucking day. When I first got there, this nigga knew that I was on the plane. I didn't even go to sleep because my flight was at 6 a.m. This nigga, y'all commenting too fast. Hold on. This nigga knew that my flight was at 6 a.m. I didn't get no sleep. I stayed up all night to make my flight. When I got there, this nigga stayed up all night screaming about Nana, screaming and crying about Nana all night long. And see, here's the thing that you don't know. When you go there, expected to follow him around every second like when he goes live these niggas be surrounding him like it's like a fucking audience or some shit so if he wants to be up 
all night on live on a rant, you have to be present. And here's one of the things that made him not fuck with me like that. Because when I first got there, everybody was outside listening to this nigga rant about Nana. And they call this shit a download. They call it a fucking download. Like downloading what? This is a nigga bitching about his relationship. Downloading what? So they call this shit a download, right? And everybody was heated with me because I got, went in the bed and got the, was trying to go to sleep. I got in the bed and was trying to go to sleep. And this nigga was literally like pissed off about that because he wanted to rant all night when I just got off a fucking flight from the States. He wanted to rant all night and I didn't want to sit up under him and listen to that shit. He was heated about that. So it's not what you expect at all. I was thinking that this shit was going to be like a holistic retreat. Like you're going to go there. You're going to meditate. You're going to talk about your problems. You're going to, you know, sit and you're going to work on yourself. No, it's the fucking nature boy show all day long. That's all it is. You got to sit and listen to him. And 85% of the time, this nigga don't be talking about shit. That's what it is let me see y'all are commenting too fast i'm trying to i'm trying to answer some questions let's see are you safe what oh no i already answered that yes i'm safe i'm completely safe i'm heading back to babylon fuck i'm heading back to babylon but being in babylon is being is better than being in that shit that's a fact Here's another thing, like, and y'all saw how he fucked up my hair, like, if you see this shit, like, this nigga, he was hating from jump. He was hating from jump. Yeah, that's why he got that new girl, she reminds him of Velvet, hell yeah, there was whole conversations, day in and day out, there was whole conversations, like, oh, I can't wait till this girl comes and Velvet sees that we got a girl that looks like her and the people see, like, y'all talking about, I went over there for clout, this nigga is a fucking clout demon. He is a clout monster. All, he'll do anything for clout. That's him. That's not me. I never, he was the one that made it the only show. It's been the only show for the past three days because I was running his fucking views up. He know I was running his shit up. I wasn't trying to be on camera and that fucking shit. Let me ask and answer another question. Oh, God. If you say some disrespectful shit, you're going to get blocked. Baby, you just got yourself blocked. Goodbye. If you say some disrespectful shit, there better not be no females in here saying no disrespectful shit because I'm the only woman that actually stood up to him, that actually stood her fucking ground. Y'all shouldn't be doing nothing but applauding me, period. If you disrespect me, you disrespecting yourself. Let me look for some more questions. Hold on. My connection is not great. He don't want out of here longer. He fucked me up. He gave me the Kobe Bryant fade. I went up in that bitch with beautiful hair. He fucked me up on purpose. Man, this nigga is a hater, bro. And see, here's the thing. That's this debate that he was making me have for days on end, right? It didn't have nothing to do with the fact that I didn't want to devote all my energy to being a housewife. It had everything to do with the fact that I looked more intellectual than him on camera. That's why he was mad. That's why he kept on trying to have the debate again and again and again on camera. So he could try to, you know, win and make himself look good. That's the reason why he was mad. It had nothing. This nigga knew good and fucking well. I told him from jump, from day one, that I wasn't that type of girl. He knew that before I even came. Y'all talking about what I knew before I came. He knew that before I came. It was just the fact that I disputed his ideology in front of the world and in front of his minions. Okay? It was the fact that I stood up to him. He didn't like that. He got to be the top dog. But ain't nobody going to top me. Somebody said, why didn't you say that when he had you on live? Listen, I'm going to tell y'all some 100% facts. I was, this nigga was so pressed throughout the whole situation. It was multiple times when I felt like he was going to lay hands on me. This nigga screamed in my face multiple times. I know y'all think 
I think I'm Billy Badass. I'm 5'2". I am a little girl. I am not about to get my ass knocked out by a fucking 200-pound man, period. So I could not say everything that I wanted to say in his presence. But now that I'm away, you can't get me, nature boy. Mm, nah, 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 nah. You can't get me. I'm going to speak my fucking peace. Let's go to another question. Mm, what made you leave? Man, I have been trying to leave. Listen, and here's the thing. I got to tell y'all some real shit. I have been trying to leave damn near the minute I got there. The minute I got there, I realized, oh, no, this some bullshit. This some bullshit because I didn't go there to be fucking watching the Nature Boy show. Like, literally, everything that these people do, they devote every minute of their time to serving him. Like, you know that nigga Loyal? This nigga literally, like, when he approaches Nature Boy, he gets down on one knee. These people really, real talk, think this nigga is the Messiah. I never in my life thought this nigga was no fucking Messiah. Are you kidding me? <sighs> let's go. Let's read some more questions. Y'all asking them so fast. Y'all bugging. That's right, sis. Peace. You went against everyone. Yeah, I went against everyone. And I remained respectful because I was in the shit. But at the end of the day, I, I spoke my peace. I was never scary. I was never scary. I spoke my fucking peace. I saw your hair, girl. I was pissed. He fucked me up. <laughs> he fucked me up on, on purpose. This nigga gave, like, if you see my shit, like... I got long pieces in the back. Shit ain't even. It ain't lined up good. This is gonna fuck me up on purpose. He a fucking hater, bro. He don't nobody get more shine than him. Here's the thing. If he was so fucking the man, why did he need to make it the only show for these past three days in order to up them views? I told this nigga multiple times I don't want to be on fucking camera. I kept telling him I don't want to be on camera. This nigga is a fucking bitch. Let's see. Let's keep going. Who else? They talk about he's like an alcoholic. Man, fuck that nigga. I needed to be out to be an that bitch. I was fucking stressing. You know how they say, like, you know how you might have a child, right? And you take your child over somebody's house. And you might let them go over their father's house. Then they come back and like, this ain't how I sent my child to you. Yo, my uncle. My uncle gonna be pissed when he see what the fuck I look like. I did not look like this when I came to this nigga's shit. I did not look like this. I look so fucked up. Like these bags under my eyes, my fucking hair. I look so fucked up. I didn't look like that when I first came. I was not getting no good sleep. These niggas, they, it's like 20 of them in a fucking three bedroom house. There's two bathrooms. And one of them is Nature Boy's bathroom. 20 people using one fucking bathroom. You can't even take a shit we want to. You can even take a fucking shit when you want to. I was fucking miserable there. I don't like sleeping in a room with a whole bunch of fucking people. That shit is fucking weird to me. Let's keep going. I'm trying to read these comments, man. Uh, So he really refused to take me to this. Wait. Hold on. So how was the women? I said that. So the women, they were sweet. Here's the thing. Everybody over there is a soft-spoken, timid, sweet person. If you met any of them, one on one, you you wouldn't even notice them. Right? You'd be like, "Oh, that's her. Oh, that's him." You get what I'm saying? Oh, she's sweet. She's he's cool. But here's the thing: like, what makes you not want to fuck with them is the fact that everything this nigga say, they dick ride. They dick ride that. They will never have their own opinion. If somebody tell a joke, they won't laugh until he laugh first. Remember when that shit was happening with Sunny, right? The first thing this nigga said is, well, I think she should go. And I'm sure y'all think that she should go too. Because it's one mind, one self. When this nigga say one mind, one self, what that means is nature boy's mind is everybody's mind. And that's it. Let's go. Let me ask some more. So he cut your hair the day you came. Nah, like, I wasn't even trying to cut my hair. Because I was thinking I was going to leave, but... I don't know what the fuck, like, convinced me to do that shit. And it would never been so bad, but it was just how he cut this shit. Like, he fucked me up. Nobody's shit looked as fucked up as my mine did. He fucked my shit up, dead ass. Okay, let's see. How many times a day do they eat? So, look, they eat once a day. The money was super tight when I was there. The money was super tight when I was there. Like, these niggas eat beans and lentils damn near every other day. Y'all wonder why a bitch be craving some a hamburger and some fucking fries. Don't, don't nobody want to eat no fucking beans and rice every fucking day? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see. You're here. 
Oh, come on. Don't tell me my hair was nice. That's going to make me sad. Why he saying you not good in Atlanta? Okay, look. Y'all talking about that shit with Bambi, brother. Listen, I do not know this nigga. He don't know me. He don't know nothing about me. He's mad. He's salty because I checked her when she got out of pocket. And he saw that. And that's why he's mad. But she should, she came at me. She barked on me. So I had to politely put her in her face. And that's all that is. So he's salty about that. If it was my sister, I would be salty too. Okay, let's see. Wait. They flagging my life. They some fucking haters, man. Wait, can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, put thumbs up. If y'all can hear me, put thumbs up. I can't really see this shit. Let me see. Damn. Did they? Okay, wait. So y'all can hear me, right? My connection is not that good. Thumbs up if you can hear me. Damn, let me... Why did you... I don't know what you're talking about. So you ain't seen no red flags before flying out there. And you've been watching him for how long? So I never... Okay, so number one, I never listened to none of this nigga knowledge. And he know that. He know. Like, they keep talking about, oh, Umi, you went out there, but you didn't know. This nigga knew I didn't know. He knew that I did not watch none of his knowledge. He knew that I did not know none of his shit. He knew that. Period. And yeah, I saw red flags, but I'm an Aries. So when I got my mind set on something, I'm like, nah, I'm going to do it. I wanted the experience. I wanted to just see what the fuck was up with it. I saw it's not about shit. So now I'm gone. Let's see another question. Did you bring money to the pot? I love this question. Did you bring money to the pot? Listen, number one, I did not bring a dime to the pot. Can y'all hear me? I did not bring a dime to the pot. This nigga paid for my passport. He paid for my flight. And he sent me cash. And I got the receipts to prove it. And he sent me cash. This nigga is not a gorilla. He is not a pimp. He is a fucking simp. He's a simp. And not only that, when he first paid for my flight, I, I can't even tell you when this shit was. And I could show the receipts. It was probably like a couple weeks before I even came. I told this nigga, nah, I don't think I'm going to come. Right? Two weeks later or whatever, I was like, man, I got to just see what that shit's like. So I hit him back because he refunded the ticket. I hit him back and I was like, yo, like, can I use that credit? To I still want to come out there. And he was like, bet. See, here's the thing. This nigga love talking about how many bitches he got in his DMs. But if you got so many bitches, he paid for all Malia passport too. He paid for her passport and her flight too. He paid for Aya flight too. It's like, if you so much of a pimp, you so much of a boss, Colin Kaepernick, it's niggas that's fucking millionaires that make a bitch buy their own flight. You pay for you a fucking you a fucking sugar daddy. You talking about somebody fucking uncle? Let's keep going. Wait. Let me find another question to ask to answer. Mm. Mm. Let me find something good. <laughs> Let me find something good. Mm. Is he a creep in, weird, in real life? This nigga is weird. Like, I'll tell you some weird shit about him. Like, this nigga will literally, like, he spend more time online than he do talking to the people that's around him. And I'm not just talking about me because I wasn't even in his face. Like, I was doing my own thing, and he know that. I was never in his face. I was never in his face. I was never starting conversation with him. When I went there, I seen what his vibe was like. I wasn't really feeling it like that, so I just stayed out of his way. 
I stayed out of it. He was he was weird. He was awkward. But this nigga will literally like be on live all day. He'll be on the phone like for hours with a bitch who he don't even know, like in the room with everybody. He did that to me. Like I could show y'all the messages. Like this nigga literally like made me stay on the phone with him one time for eight fucking hours. He's like, you got to fall asleep on the phone with me and all this shit before I ever met him. He kept me on the phone for eight fucking hours. Like he would text me so many texts back to back. And if I didn't reply in five minutes, he would be like, you're not texting back fast enough. I don't feel like you could give me the attention that I need. Like this nigga is weird. He got weird ways. Let me go. Uh, let me find some more questions. Do you think Sunny is in fear? Nah, Sunny good. She want to be there. She brainwashed. Uh, do you think he made you? Yeah, that nigga was depressed. Do you think he made you come over there so quick to boost his ego to try to make himself feel better about Velvet leaving? I think that's why he brought all of those women over there like that. I think he was super depressed about that shit. Let me see. Let me, <clears throat> let me find some more questions. She got flued out. <laughs> this nigga, wow. Wait, shit, my question is good. What's your question? None of your fuck, fucking bees knees or whatever. What's your question? Yeah, this nigga ain't no fucking pimp. Like, this nigga is not who you think he is. He stay talking about how he got bitches, but this nigga ain't got no bitches like that. Look, I could even tell y'all, like, so the first time when he bought my ticket, I blocked him on everything. I blocked him on Instagram, and I blocked his um WhatsApp. This nigga called me from another number, like, this is Chief. Face me like a coward. If you don't want to talk to me anymore, you need to at least tell me. Oh, and here's another thing. Here's another thing that I want to address. Everybody keep on saying he kicked me out. This nigga didn't fucking kick me out. I chose to leave. Every time I tried to leave, this nigga tried to convince me not to. Tried to manipulate me not to. You could even see on the live where I told him. Because this is why I wanted to leave. He basically told me we had a meeting, right? Because they always got to have meetings and shit. We had a meeting and this nigga basically told me like, well, if you're not going to believe what I think, then maybe you should go, right? So at the end of the meeting, I thought about that shit. I was like, yeah, you know what? I need to dip because I know I'm never going to agree with you. I know that I'm never going to think like you. So I need to get the fuck on, right? Y'all could see on the live, and I swear he said this. I put this on everything. I know exactly what he said. Y'all could see on one of the lives, he calls me over there, and I'm like, he's like, why are you leaving Umi? Why are you leaving Umi? Do that sound like somebody who want a bitch to leave? I, I say, look, you told me straight up. If I don't am never going to think like you, if I don't think like you, then I need to dip. So I need to dip. He says, I didn't say that. I just asked you why you were here. Man, this nigga, and I don't even think it's about me. Like, I'm not even trying to act cocky like, oh, he wanted me. Nah, I don't even think it's about me. This nigga's real talk, like, got just abandonment issues, period, about people leaving. He don't be wanting nobody to leave. And I'll tell y'all some other shit. When I was Nubian and Solar, they took me to the um cab, right? <laughs> These niggas dead ass told me, and I know they would never tell me this if they didn't have the go-ahead from Chief, because these niggas don't have a brain of their own. They dead ass told me, if you go back to Babylon and you realize that this is the right thing, don't hesitate to reach out. Don't be too proud to reach out. You can always come back and do the right thing. This nigga, come to think of it, something else just came to my mind. When we were in that meeting where he told me if I don't think like him, maybe I need to leave. He, he dead ass tried to play some mind games. This nigga is a sick person who would try to fuck with your head. He tried to play some mind games and he was like, you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to go back to Babylon. You're going to get really depressed. You're going to isolate yourself and then you're going to want to commit suicide. And when you get to that point, text me. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck are you talking? He, he tried to play with your mind and make it seem like without him, you're going to be like in a fucked up position. Like your mind is going to be fucked up. And baby, you could never be mad. He could never be mad about me speaking my piece because bitch, you've been talking about me all fucking day. You've been running your dick suckers about me all fucking 
day. So, yes, bitch, I'm going to address it, period. Let's go on. Let's find some more questions. Oh, God. Look, you disrespect me, I'm going to block your ass. You know you want the tea. You know you want the tea. You don't want to get blocked. You disrespect me, I'm going to block your ass. Okay, blocked. Anyway, let's see. Uh, let me find... Like, I'm not good at this shit. Then these questions are fucking coming in like crazy. He needs a mommy? Yeah. Like, nigga, I'm not... Uh-uh. Why did you let them cut your hair? Being a dumbass? Being a dumbass? But it's all good, though. It don't take nothing to grow some hair. Just like I grew it the first time, I'll grow it again. Wait. Oh, you're blocked, baby. You're blocked, sweetheart. Goodbye. Let me find some more. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Oh, you blocked, baby. They told me to block you, so I'm going to block your ass, too. Wait, let me go. My fucking phone is fucking up. Did he eat more than anyone else than, and drink, too? Yeah. Yeah, he ate more than everybody else. And he ate before everybody else, even the pregnant chicks over there. And he got served like a fucking, like he think he a king or some shit. Let me see. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Somebody got to get blocked. Somebody asked me something good. Ask me something good. <laughs> I ain't answering that shit. Let's go. He did that to make you look bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Dang. Did he interact with the babies? Nah, he didn't really seem interested in those babies. Uh, who is your favorite and your least person there? Okay, so my favorite person there was Aya. Because she was super sweet. She was the first person I met and she was real sweet. It's fucked up because she deserves so much better. She be getting treated so fucked up by this nigga. And she be really fucked up about it. Like, she doesn't show her emotions, but she be fucked up about the way that he treats her. He really, she really be fucked up about that shit. But she's the type of person, like, I'm not about to get into her business, but she, she the type of person who thinks being mistreated by a man is being loved by a man. So she gonna be there for a long ass fucking time, I'll tell you that. Let's see another question. Hmm. They talking about, I hope you didn't let nobody get your hair. I don't even know what the fuck happened to my hair. Mm. Where you from in Babylon? I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. What else? He a clown? Yeah, he's a fucking clown. He's a fucking, he's a messy queen. That's what he is. He is a fucking messy queen queen that's what i liked about him he's a messy fucking queen you're gonna leave why you sound like chief because he a messy queen he a messy bitch i'm a messy bitch too let's go you about to get blocked Was you and Rob about to get down? Probably so, because I was drunk. And I saw the video. Like, I was drunk. I saw the video, and I saw, like, how I was putting my hand on her shit. Like, if she would have, like, knocked my hand out of her face or something, I probably would have knocked her ass out. Yes, your hair is beautiful. Now, army of, are they gay? This nigga going, he want that cloud. Starting to sound less like Umi. Ah! And more like Grey Jones Club. Yeah. Always. Maybe you can Wow, that's crazy. He wants you out here fuck doing bad. I'm, oh, yeah, he want me doing bad. You see how that nigga tried to put me out there? And, and he didn't even want me to leave and go to a room. You want to know why? Because that nigga kept making it the fucking Umi show. He kept making the Umi show. Like, 
He can't make it at the Umi show. That's all motherfuckers was asking about. Umi, 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 Umi. That's it. He kept making it the fucking Umi show. He was going to try to keep making it the fucking Umi show till Tuesday for views. Period. Okay, hold on. How do I do it? Okay, I'm about to do it. I'm about to accept you. I'm about to accept you. I didn't get no good sleep the whole time I was fucking there. Request it again. Okay. Y'all keep asking some shit. If it's some shit that I didn't answer, ask it. If it's some shit that I didn't answer, ask it. He mad because you told he <laughs> he didn't think he was gonna get the money. That nigga mad, period. He was so pressed. <laughs> he was so pressed. Nah, you didn't sleep. Nah, I didn't get no fucking sleep. This nigga would have motherfuckers up all night. I I didn't get no sleep. That's why y'all see the fucking way my eyes was looking. That's crazy. Ask something else. Where you at now? I'm safe. I'm somewhere safe. You getting back to the music? I might diss him. I'm thinking I want to diss him. I really want to violate this nigga because he he dead ass disrespected the fuck out of me. And I tried to remain respectful. How often did he... Wait, let's go. Keep asking questions. Like, I didn't even eat for the fat past few days I was there. He said I was all in his face. I was never in this nigga face. I was never in this nigga face. I didn't even talk to him. When I would see him, I wouldn't even say hi. I remember like one of the first days I was there, he wants everybody, like when he enters the room, you got to stand and you got to bow to him or some shit. And he got mad because I didn't do that shit. I sat down and I was like, what's up? Let me tell y'all how arrogant this nigga is. He literally like called me a demon. Because I had my hands on my hips while he was talking. He said, that's a demon. That's a demon right there. Because if you knew who I was, then you would have reverence for me. This nigga really think he's the fucking messiah. I don't give a fuck. Keep going. I don't give a fuck. Of course he gonna talk to me. Of course he gonna talk about me. He said I came on to him. If I so came... Nigga... You paid for my passport. You paid for my flight. You begged me to fucking come there. How the fuck I come on to you? I hit you initially, yes. Keep keep asking. Ask something else. Ask something good. Ask something good. I love you too, baby. I love you too, baby. Everybody that support me, I fuck with y'all. Y'all know it needed to be done. Y'all know they needed a Umi in there a long time ago to stir the shit the fuck up. Did you watch any of his lives? If you did and you went over there anyway, it's your fault. I'll eat that. I'll eat that. <laughs> Nature Boy barely got a GED. That nigga stay misusing words. He swear he, he a fucking genius or some shit. Let's go. Questions box. That, I, I don't like the questions box. Let me see. The peeps pay for everything. No disrespect. That's already been discussed. Umi, come out. Let me see. Cleanse <laughs> yourself in a river. <laughs> Wait, can y'all hear me still? How did he treat Aya? He treated her like shit. One night, he put her out of the tent because she said, I love my... She made her voice heard at the end of his live, like when he was ending his live. He didn't want nobody to know she was in the tent with him. 
He didn't. He he treated her like shit all the time, all the time. I could eat it. How do you feel like riding Sheba? Sheba is fucking annoying. Sheba is so fucking annoying. She ain't number the little nature boy dick rider. Please, girl. Wow. Wow. Ask me something else good. Hey. Oh, wow. Ask something else. Yeah, he didn't want nobody to know she was in the tent. Did you go there just to mix it up or did you genuinely want to be there? Mmm. I wanted to be there. Like, I love... Okay, wait. Let me take it one at a time. I wanted... It was a mixed... Like, I knew that if I was disrespected over there, like, I already knew I was going to speak up. I know how I am. I knew if I was disrespected in any way or if some shit went down that I didn't like, I was going to speak up. But I really was thinking in my mind, like, in the most positive part of my mind, I was thinking, like, this is going to be, like, a holistic retreat. We're going to get all our issues out on the table and we're going to heal. I was really hoping it was going to be like that. We, we're going to connect with nature. Like, niggas barely even be in nature. Niggas be in the fucking house. Santa. <laughs> It's okay if you went there out of curiosity. Yeah, curiosity was a big, 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 big thing. What about Ra? Ra was cool sometimes. She was a bitch sometimes. Did y'all sleep in a house or in tents? <laughs> it's true as condescending as he looks on live. He's pretty condescending. That nigga think he's, he's fucking smart. He thinks he's clever. Let's go. Let's get some good ones. Did you give money? I already addressed that. I didn't give a penny. I didn't give a penny. You about to get blocked. Bye, sweetheart. Say hello to the thank you screen. TTYL. All right. Okay. Come on, ask me something good. Ask me something good. Did you create your download about happy to be fat or him? I made that shit up because I thought it was funny. Ugh. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, but you about to get blocked because I saw you talking shit in another live. Bye, baby. Let's see what else. What's the, oh, you getting blocked too. Bye, sweetheart. I'm glad you left. I'm glad I left too. Hold on. How do I do that? How do I delete you then add you? I don't know how to do that. Did it seem like anyone wanted to get out and was scared to leave? Nah, all them niggas want to be there. They really believe this nigga is like the messiah or some shit. Is Bambi slow? She seem a little slow. That's why I think her brother got so mad about me checking her. All right. Let me see. I see millions of questions on the same thing that aren't giving us get an answer. What are they? Your energy was everything thankful you have a beautiful figure i hope he didn't try to body shame you oh he was definitely trying to give me the stick size he wanted to have me looking like ah oh, yeah that's a fact they slow me that's why you're too smart for them dummies i don't know what the hell wrong with any nothing i don't know how to add nobody tell me how to add somebody on the live oh click on the name you want to bring on should we still call you Umi? i like Umi. i'm keeping it i'm keeping Umi. I'm taking it with me. Fuck that. I'm deboing it. Okay, let me see. Oh, there he is. I don't know how. I clicked it, but it didn't say go live. Mm. <laughs> Just tell us anything interesting that happened. <laughs> Did you have an attraction to Drew? Why would you even ask that? 
you are way more intelligent and strong. True and she were really together. It looked like it. <laughs> they hungry, they minds they right. Yo. I gotta restart the live. He's a fake ass reporter. Oh, he already know. He already done know he done crossed me. Why'd you snitch on Joy? Joy? I didn't snitch on her. She said that shit in front of him to his face. Like, I didn't snitch on him. I didn't snitch on her. I just brought that shit back up. <laughs> Did they stink, Umi? They had a earthy, <laughs> they had an earthy scent. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know. I think I picked up a vibe yesterday. <laughs> Stop. Close live and go back. You showed up and showed out. I did, huh? I showed up and showed out, huh? Nah, they all right. Everybody that's over there want to be there somewhere in a little confused, mixed up mind. She didn't say she was being real. Facts. He's live right now with Vic. And do he punish them? Oh, okay. I can tell y'all something interesting that happened. So let me tell y'all. So this nigga be acting like he sold a man. So one time for everybody, you know, he got like 20 people there. One time for everybody, he didn't have nothing but a thousand dollars. That's all he had all day. Like that's all he had a thousand dollars. Right. And I'm not shaming nobody from being poor. Y'all know I'm poor too, obviously, but he be trying to act as if he's something that he's not. So true this something where he fucked the money up somehow. Right. <laughs> And Nature Boy screamed on this nigga so bad like he was his child. And True literally had his tail between his legs not saying shit. He was like, you fucking idiot. You fucking dickhead. Why the fuck would you do some shit like that, you fucking dickhead? <laughs> this nigga True was just following behind Nature Boy like a lost little puppy. Not doing shit. Me too. Oh, bitch. Why is he? Nah, weren't you talking crazy? I think he blocked me too for asking why is he punishing everyone for your lie. I'm about to block you too, bitch, because I saw you talking shit. I saw you talking shit. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, let's go. Let me get some more questions. How they paying rent? Where they at? Donations. As soon as donations run out, this nigga won't even be able to live. He got dumbass people. And oh, here's some other shit. He be acting as if he's the Messiah and he means people so well, right? He be acting like he's the Messiah, right? But this nigga literally be trying to manipulate people into giving him money. It was like some young little white kids, right? Some young little white kids, like 18, 19, 20. And he's talking to them like, oh, you know, because I guess they had inherited like 50 grand or some shit, 40 grand. And they was thinking they was going to uh, bring it over there and they was going to join conversation. Y'all talking about vetting people. You think he vetted those little white boys? You think he was like, oh, do y'all know the knowledge? No, nah, all he cared about was the buddy. So the little white kid, he's like, well, because he's telling him, you got to leave your girlfriend. She's Babylon. You got to let go of attachments. The little kid, he's like, I don't want to leave my girlfriend. I love her, whatever. This nigga is like, okay, he, he spends hours on the phone with this kid trying to manipulate him. Oh, you getting blocked. You getting blocked, baby girl. If you talk shit, she has no tea. So then why are you here? Bye. Let me help you. Bye. Ta-ta. See you soon. See you in hell. Anyway, so he gets off the phone and he's like, man, these niggas just need to send the fucking money, bro. So since they wasn't going to come, he just manipulated them into sending him four grand. He got some dumb motherfuckers that really do be sending him a lot of money. Let's see. He said he don't do that. Big time liar. Did you say anything about Velvet? Man, not, even if he did say something about Velvet to me, that's not my business. That don't got nothing to do with me. So I'm not going to speak on that. How old was the kid? He was like 19, 18, 19. So if his internet went down, he have no source of income. Probably not. He don't got no income coming in. Oh, no. Uh, he got people bringing money in. He got people bringing money in. I'm not going to put their business out there, but he got people that's there. You know, I don't know how to unpin it. <laughs> I don't know how to unpin it. Okay. Ask me something good. 
Ask me something good. Nah, it's not an Airbnb, but they written it. <laughs> Let me see. He got a lot to say. Man, fuck that nigga. That nigga is a fucking dick writer. Close your life. What do you want to know about my experience? You say I'm talking about everyone else. What do you want to know, bitch? Ask, ask a question. Well, you can't ask a question because you're blocked. Wait, so if I close my live, I'm about to go live with um World. So I'm about to close this live and I'm going to open it back up. Come back in the live.